Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this abstract shell in Illustrator. Today, I want to share with you Mark Brooks. He's the brand director at Behance, the famous online portfolio platform. He's going to teach you how to build a killer portfolio and how to showcase in a digital format some of your best projects. Discover principles to keep in mind when organizing your portfolio. Learn how to highlight your best work and showcase the kind of projects you want to be hired for. Explore the parameters to keep in mind when deciding what to include in your portfolio and experiment with presenting your work for a professional looking end result. I personally watched this course, took his advice and implemented it in my portfolio on Behance and I'm super happy with the end result so far. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description to see it. Now let's get back to our tutorial. First step, click on the stroke. I'm going to select the black color. I'm going to select the circle, the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. And we're going to create a new copy, press and hold alt, select both, go to the pathfinder and click on intersect. If you don't have the pathfinder, go to windows and select the pathfinder. I'm also going to make this a little bit more wide, scale it up. I'm going to create a new background. So I'm going to swap this from stroke to fill. I'm going to click on the field. I'm going to select the lighter black, select the rectangle, press and hold shift plus alt. There you go. Right click, arrange, send to back. Now we got this here. I'm going to increase the stroke thickness and I'm going to add a gradient. Of course, make sure that the stroke is on the top. So I'm going to click on the stroke. And as you can see now it's in the top, I'm going to go to the gradients. Now I'm going to activate the gradient. I'm going to double click on these circles and select some colors. I'm going to go with blue and double click here on this one. I'm going to select, I don't know, this. And you also can multiply these circles, press and hold alt and drag a circle. From here, we're going to go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. The same old trick. I'm going to create a lot of copies some around, I don't know, 40. I'm going to decrease the horizontal scale. I'm going to decrease it to 87. Press Ctrl C and then type into the vertical 87 again. And we're gonna change the angle, of course. You can do it minus, you can do it plus. I'm going to go with plus actually. There you go. So it's like uh, 11 degrees. Click OK. Now you also can create like more copies to make it more dense. I did it more rare. From here, you also can select the direct selection tool, click on the anchor point, press and hold alt, and of course, modify, you know, the anchor points. And yeah, mainly this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.